Wow, dude. This place is freaky. No way. Oh my gosh. The echo, the echoing, dude. How are you? Look at this place, dude. Oh my gosh. If you've ever been to West Virginia, then you may have heard of the Mothman of Point Pleasant. The legend goes back to 1966 and 1967, leading up to the tragic collapse of the Silver Bridge, which connected West Virginia to Ohio on the other side of the river. The sightings began in 1966 when a crew of grave diggers reported seeing a black humanoid sized bird above the trees of the cemetery in which they were working. A few nights later, two couples spotted the creature in great detail while driving through the now famous TNT area of Point Pleasant. What could be described as an angel of death or harbinger of disaster, the creature was reported to have large saucer-like red glowing eyes, large wings to carry itself at high speeds through the sky, and most commonly the appearance of, well, a giant moth. Following these events, people from all walks of life continued to see this creature, and the countless sightings have developed the modern day phenomenon of the Mothman. The book, The Mothman Prophecies, written by John Keel, and later adapted into a Hollywood movie featuring Richard Gere, has brought international attention to the topic. It has also established the theory that the Mothman may be misunderstood and could possibly be appearing to us as a warning of impending disaster, such as the collapse of the Silver Bridge, after which the sightings in the area stopped. Whether it's an owl mutated by the nuclear waste runoff from the local power plant, a harbinger of doom sent to warn of the impending bridge disaster, an alien from another planet, or an unidentified cryptid local to the area, the Mothman has encapsulated the minds of people worldwide, seeking a doorway into the unknown. as much as it can zoom in. <gasps> All right, so we're here. The bunker's right there. We haven't gone in yet. I will admit, um, like a kid on Christmas, I've been waiting years to see this. Uh, this is one of the coolest urban legends in the world, period. It's famous all around, everywhere. There's people just flocking here to see this, um, as we saw. But. Uh, I'm really just becoming more and more convinced that the nuclear plant or somebody who works there or who has involvement in it had dumped nuclear waste in here and it affected some sort of wildlife to turn it into a big freaking huge red-eyed moth looking bird thing. Um, it's not that far-fetched if you think about it, but uh, here we go. This is it. Wow, dude, this place is freaky, no way, dude, look, that's what I'm saying though, dude, that's like not, not good. or they were doing like government experiments here and like, they were like, oh, we just have TNT in there, but really it's like some, oh my gosh. The echo, the echoing, dude. How are you? Look at this place, dude. Oh my gosh. 
It sounds like the flapping of a wings when you talk in here. Oh my gosh, it's Creep Factory in here, dude. No way. Dude. What happened? What happened? Can we go in one that's like not that creepy? Let me just get this shot. I think I just filmed with the. If you just stomp your feet in there, you can just boom. Thank you. 